this video I'm going to show you how to create a database and create tables and then insert data into them tables using PHP code um, I'm also not going to go through the form process um, of like creating forms um, then posting uh, data uh, for what's, what was in the form to post variables and stuff um, I'm not going to do that because it takes a bit of time and um, it's not that difficult to do anyway but um, it takes a bit of time and also I th think it's kind of pointless because um, you shouldn't really be giving that opportunity to users to create databases anyway um, so to start off first of all we need to connect to the server so if I just create a connect equals um, MySQL underscore connect and in here we've got three parameters uh, we've got localhost uh, and um, in previous videos and in other scripts you've probably seen the MySQL underscore select DB um, we are not going to be doing that just yet because we haven't got a we haven't got a database created yet to actually select so we're going to miss that step out for now um, so second of all we're going to create a database so simply just put mysql um, underscore query and in here simple as create database and what do you want the database to be called that's basically that's what all this is doing um, so um, I don't know, tutorial will do fine for now. Um, if I just echo out here, um, database created, and let me just, um, oh yeah, um, as you can see, if I just refresh this, uh, as you can see, there is no database on my local host that has um, the name tutorial, so as you can see, um, that I've not created one. Um, so if I just refresh this page now, get database created, and if I refresh this page, um, get tutorial there at the bottom. So if I click on that, um, we have database, but no tables found. So now we're going to create a table. Um, so for the time being, if I just um, blank that out because we don't want to create another database called tutorial, we won't anyway. But um, so now that we've actually created a page we can select the database so db is equal to mysql underscore select underscore db and we created it as tutorial ok so now if we just come down here a bit um, let's create a table so mysql underscore query and this is going to be um, create table simple as um, what do you want to create it as I'm just going to create it as uh, people um, if I just bring this down here just to keep it um, kind of neat and tidy to read um, just like that um, so what fields do we actually want to put into this database so first name or just name will do fine if you want that um, and this is going to be a varchar of 15 characters long next one um, our gender and that is going to be another varchar um, and as you know uh, female is the longest and that has 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 characters so there we go and last one um, age will do fine that's going to be an integer um, and that should be good to go so if I could change this to table created and refresh the page get table created and if I refresh this page tutorial we get a table called people and if you look at the structure um, everything's been inserted absolutely fine um, so now to actually put data into this table um, it's just as easy really it's nothing complicated to this script at all um, so if I just blank 
this block of code out um, just like that and to create insert information it's a mysql underscore query again it's always mysql my, mysql underscore query for these um, insert into what do we want to insert into people table it's so insert the data into the people table and the values are going to be um, so as you know we have um, one two three fields so that means we need three parameters so the first one is first name I'm just going to put Ash the second one was um, what was the second one gender um, I'm just put male and the age is 18 so if I just put there um, data inserted oops and if I just refresh this page get inserted and refresh this one there we have it that information has been inserted into the database so that's basically just how to create databases then create a table then insert data into the database um, yeah so thanks for watching and I will see you next time